Hello everyone, welcome to Dragon Emperor. Today we'll be testing out Elden Ring, how it works on the SS Rog Ally. Honestly, when I was testing this game, I was kind of surprised how well it works actually. So here's the game, I've played this game. I guess so far the longest and like I've completed 100% of it. You can see my completion badge over there. And make sure you guys update to the latest, uh, you know, firmware of ASUS ROG Ally. It has a pretty cool mode and let's launch the game. So here it is now launching the game here. It's going to take a while to boot this up. But make sure you guys, you know, update to the latest firmware because it has one of the like, you know, best updates I guess so far. It has a like, you know, mode where it has like 900p where you can play the game in 900p. It's like the best balance between performance, graphic and FPS as well. Okay, that's me recording on my iPad and okay, uh, above my Nintendo Switch box. Hey there guys, so that's me waving my hand now. <laughs> okay, the game is launching now. Okay, so here it is. And done. We are in game now. I've actually come to this place, like, you know, particular place because, you know, I feel like it's like the best place to show like how well it works because it has uh, pretty much everything here. So here it is, Saifra River. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right though. Let me turn on the FPS counter here. And you can see my F settings there. Uh, this is actually 900p guys, because I felt like this is the best settings here. Because it looks great as well as, like, you know, this is a pretty good FPS as well. Let me show you quickly the graphic settings here. You honestly don't need to optimize much for, like, you know, Elden Ring. The FromSoft hasn't done pretty well work of, you know, optimizing the game itself. So it is on, you can see as a graphic settings, I'm not like doing anything optimizations here. Only thing I've done is like set it to 900p, that's it. Other than that, I've like enabled with, this is with ray tracing, guys, remember that in mind. This is with ray tracing. And it is set to high on everything. And yet I'm getting like, you know, solid 30 fps here. If you want, you can just reduce the graphics a little bit. Or like, you know, do some adjustments here or there for like higher fps. But I feel like this is a sweet spot. It looks pretty good and like, you know, performs and runs pretty well as well. Smooth as butter here. There's not much of a stutter here and there. Like as you can see here, like this water, reflections, everything. Let's go fight hit this guy once. I've kind of forgotten a little bit of the controls. Okay, this is different here. Yeah. Because I was playing like, you know, Life of P and this one recently. Lots of the Fallen. We are changing the controls a little bit. So I'm like using that muscle memory here. Okay, this guy is dead already. As you can see, there's not much of a drastic dip in FPS here. Like, you know, even fighting against enemies and stuff. It's gonna take a moment for me to like, you know, get back to Elden Ring. I'm playing Elden Ring after a super long time. Okay, here it is. Hopefully the new DLC is gonna come real fast. There's still no update about it though. And let's go. Okay, somebody's hitting also. Don't, don't dive, dive, dive. Don't get hit. Okay, still I've got my diving skills here. I'm just now going random and attacking here and there, as you can see now. If you guys are thinking of buying Elden Ring like on your ROG ally or you already have a ROG ally and you're thinking to like you know whether it can play or no, just go for it. You're gonna have a pretty great time on ROG ally with this. Elden Ring on ROG ally just runs great. Honestly like you know if you could, if you want you can just lower the graphics a little bit here and there, tweak a little bit here and there and get better FPS. But I feel like this is just like you know perfect. It looks great, runs great. And like you know it's kind of unbelievable. This is all on battery. It's not plugged in yet. Right now I'm just playing on a battery right here. Well, let's try testing it with a battery now. Let me give me a moment guys, I'll just plug in the battery now. Okay, I have to get my power brick a little bit. And looks like my camera has lost its focus, so the color has been shifted quite a bit. Okay, now it's plugged in. And here you can see the settings. It's on manual right now on 30 watts. And it is on 900p. And here we are. Like surprising, like you know, there's not much of a drastic, like you know, boost in FPS once you plug in. It still like, gives you solid 30, which is pretty great. It's just slightly, like you know, there's like uh, how to say this? Like it's just slightly better. Wouldn't say like day night better, but slightly better. This is with ray tracing on here. This is how ray tra tracing looks here. If you want, you can improve that, like you know, ray tracing a little bit more if you just lower the other graphic settings. Well, I'm not going to go there anyways because there's a boss fight. I want to avoid the boss fight right now. Let's just go around looking at the place. Honestly, it's still quite impressive, like, you know, how FromSoft has gotten at, like, you know, making this game look so great. And, you know, run so stable as well. It doesn't feel like, you know, you're playing a PC game on a handheld. It feels like you're playing a, like, you know, like, Switch game on a Switch like that. It's, like, that optimized here. You 
you can see like how the water is going reflections all the here and everything there are things on high settings here let's try finding some other enemies nearby yeah there are like some occasional like stutters i guess i'm not sure if that's uh, you know because of the loading of like you know different area but yeah that's like pretty rare i guess it's the first time it's happening while playing this game now till now okay there's an enemy there let's take care of him Oh, okay, hit me, hit me. He's not an issue. Let's just, like, you know, plan to get, like, a perfect kill with him. It's been a while, like, playing this one, and it's like a... Maybe I'll start playing a new game once more on this. It's honestly fun playing on this. Especially Souls games like Elden Ring and stuff here. If you guys are interested in, like, you know, letting, uh, like, me trying other games on Rag Ally, please like and comment. Which game you want to, like, you know, see an extra on me testing on the Rag Ally. And I'll let you guys know, like, you know, best optimized settings for this one as well. So here I'm just fighting these guys randomly and they're dead as well. I need to change my settings like you know similar to how it is on my Lords of the Fallen and Lives of P. It'll be better then. Because I was playing recently Lords of the Fallen are quite a bit more. Actually I'm planning to make a like you know video on Lords of the Fallen dedicated, but the thing is that like it's getting pretty much updates every day since launch. Now that like the updates have become a bit slow. But once I feel like okay, this might be like you know uh, like a pretty good patch or something, then I'll try making a video on that. Because the the performance improvements have been like massive you now so far in Draws of the Fallen. Here I'm just running around like so you can see how it is. It's maintaining above consistent above 30 FPS, almost average. And you can see the temperature also is pretty great. You can enable RIS or uh, RSR. Well, hope you guys like this video. If you love the, uh, like this video, please do like and share with your friends who are thinking of buying a Rogue Ally or Elden Ring. Both are pretty great and they both are pretty good, uh, like, you know, combo as well. If you have Elden Ring, definitely play on your Rogue Ally. And if you own a Rogue Ally and you're thinking to buy Elden Ring to play on it, definitely go for it as well. Okay, here I am. Well, I'll try ending the video here now. Thank you all for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you all in my next video. And here's a bit of an endgame, just me randomly roaming till then. Bye bye, see you all in my next video.